Here's a light, got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and in today's video I played with this gorgeous palette from Suiva. It has a lot of neutral shades as you can see. And for the eye look I also included like a little bit of glitter right in my crease just to make it a little bit more glamorous for the holidays. Also I'm wearing a red lipstick as you can see and I haven't worn a red lipstick for so long. I feel really uncomfortable since I have braces to like wear a little bit more bold colors but I felt like I just had to step out of my comfort zone and do something more bright for the holidays so yeah I really hope you like how today's look turned out I will put all the details on every product I used in the description bar because I'm only going to show like my eye look today but if you are wondering like what highlighter or what lipstick I'm wearing I will put it down in the description bar just so you know but yeah let's get started I hope you guys will enjoy today's video so the first thing I'm going to do, like always, is prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using a Sigma Beauty P84 brush. And this will just make sure that the eyeshadow that I will be using today will stay in place flawless all day. And of course, that's what we want. Then now I'm going in with this Suiva palette. This is the palette I'll be using today. I will put the name of the palette in the description bar. And I'm going to start with this soft pink color and I'm going to blend this all over my crease going back and forth with my brush and the brush that I'm using is a Sigma E40 brush. Um, I have a special discount code for everything on the Sigma Beauty website. You guys know I am a very big fan of the Sigma Beauty brushes. So if you want to grab anything for the holidays, um, I have a special discount code. Then now I'm going in with this shade which is slightly darker. I'm using that same Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. Trying to blend it a little bit lower so you can still see that light pink color peak a little bit right above it. And also I'm really focusing at the outer V. Then I'm taking this dark brown color. Well, it's not super dark but it's like a brown with a very gorgeous orangey warm undertone it's really pretty and i'm going to blend this in my crease as well for this i'm using a brush which isn't available anymore unfortunately but i'm trying to blend that in my crease as well then using that same brush with a burgundy color on it i'm really focusing at that outer v area i want to get like a sort of um yeah what do you call it Tri triangle at my outer v if that makes sense i wanted to like have that pointy end so now I'm taking the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to use this to apply it all over the eyelid and this will create that cut crease effect. Also for today's look I'm doing something which I think I've never done before. Actually not in the way that I'm doing it in this video. I want to create like that same shape as I did with my outer V area but now with concealer and I still want a little bit of the eyeshadow to peek right above it and right underneath it just to give it like a special effect. Now once I'm done with that, I'm going to fill it all in with that same concealer. So now I'm going to take this palette from the Balm Cosmetics and I'm going to use the white color. Which you can see, I have used this shade a lot. It's like super pigmented. I really love this white color. And I'm going to press this in the inner corner area. And when I was doing that, I realized, okay, let me apply it a little bit on the middle part of my eyelid as well. Then I went back in with that light pink color, which I also used in my crease. And I'm going to apply that on the middle part of my eyelid as well. Applying it a little bit on top of that white to kind of make those two shades blend into each other. Then I went in with that slightly darker color and blending that more at the outer end of the eyelid. This will create a sort of ombre effect as you can see. So I used the same colors as I used for my crease and this looks just really complementary. Then now I'm going in with this gorgeous heavy metal liner from Urban Decay in this kind of silvery golden color. It's really pretty and I'm going to apply this all the way in my crease and I'm basically going to follow the line of where I created that cut crease effect. And this is actually really easy because the applicator of this eyeliner is really tiny so you can work really precise with this. Um, I did notice that you have to go back in a few times with the liner to make the glitters look as intense as possible but once it's dry out it looks really good and it stays in place. Then I'm taking the hyper precise all day liner from Maybelline which I used in one of my previous videos 
and I really love that it's so black and it's so easy to use so you will definitely see this more often on my YouTube channel. So I'm only going to create a simple line above the lash line because I am going in with fake eyelashes and whenever I go in with lashes I like to use a little bit of eyeliner because this, this kind of hides the lash band. Then I went back in with that burgundy color and I'm taking a flat diviner brush from Sigma Beauty, pressing this right underneath the lower lash line, um, kind of trying to press it like as tight as possible against the lashes. And then I'm going to use this pink color and that brown warm color which I both use for my crease as well. And now I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades to blend all the way underneath my lower lash line. And since I use these colors in my outer V and in my crease, you can now see that it really blends together with that um, eyeshadow at my outer V. Then now I'm going to use this Suiva pencil in the shade Carnot, which is a really beautiful nude kind of eye pencil, which I think suits really nice with this overall nude look. And then for my lower lashes and my upper lashes, I use the MAC Play Extended Lash Mascara, which is one of my favorites. It makes my bottom lashes look really long and that's what I really like. And for my um, lashes, I'm using a style from Dark Swan of Denmark. Really beautiful. I will put the name in the description bar as well. It's a really natural style, which I think looks really beautiful in combination with this eye look. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoy watching today's video. I definitely enjoy creating this. I think it turned out really soft. I love the little bit of sparkle in the crease. I think it looks really nice in combination with the red lipstick. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of today's look. Would you wear this or not? I'm really curious. Also, if you recreate this eye look I made today, don't forget to post it in your Instagram story and tag me so I can share it in my Instagram story as well. I'm always so happy whenever I see people recreating my looks. I kind of feel like really honored that people take the time to recreate it. I just, it just feels really cool. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye! got the prettiest side For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I will be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running There is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking up wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas